Let me cut in with the next problem. Let's just see the data, what I have given in this particular problem. It is given that the top view of a 75 mm long line is 65 mm. So what do you mean with this particular sentence? The sentence means that the true length of the line is, how much true length of the line given? It is given as 75 mm and the top view measures 65. That means what? I have given directly your LTV. So LTV length of the top view is given as 65. Now since I have given the true length as 75 and LTV as 65, the line has to incline to HP. Otherwise, your LTV should have been equal to true length itself. Now, let us say if the LTV is equal to 75, what do you mean by LTV is equal to 75? That means the line is parallel to HP. Okay, then while its length of the front view is 50 mm, that is, I have given LFV 50. Now, since I have given this LFV as 50 means what? That means the line is inclined to VP also. That means say that this particular problem wherein the line is inclined to both HP as well as VP, but I have given directly LTV as well as LFV. Of course, I have given 75 true length also. So to start, I have just given one more data. So what the data I have given? I have just given that NDA is in HP and 12 mm in front of it. So let us first do that. Okay. So I will draw the XY line. XY. Now let us look at this NDA. NDA is in HP. What do we mean NDA is in HP? If I say NDA is in HP means the locus of A dash should be on XY. Right. So I will write locus of A dash. Locus of A dash. And it is 12 mm in front of VP. So I will just indicate this also. So I can write this as locus of A. Is it okay? Now let us say I will start with LTV. So length of the top is given 65. But anyway now I need to first locate this end or end A. So A dash A. Now I have given LTV. So let us say LTV given as 65 now. So let me mark this on this particular line. So let us say this is my LTV and uh, I will call it as let us say some V1. Now remember, so what are the rules I said earlier? I said that when a line parallel to XY line in one view, in the other view, I will get the true length. I will just do the same principle here. So what is the principle? Since here LTV is parallel to XY line, in the front view, I see the true length. Anyway, I know the true length is given as 75 mm. And anyway, already I know the B1. Then what about this B1 dash then? Your P1 dash should be on the projector wherein I would have drawn an arc from A dash which is equal to true length is equal to 75. So then what I do is first I will draw this projector. I will draw this projector. Then what I will do then? Now parallel XY line in the front view I see true length. So already I know the true length. So true length is given as 75. So what to do then? I will take the compass with A dash as center. Radius is equal to 75. I am going to cut an arm on this particular projector line. Okay. So let me do that. Let us let come some area. So that this is B1. This becomes what then? B1 dash. That means say that we are going to fix the locus of B dash. So let me indicate this then. Locus of B dash. So as you can see, in this particular step, we are able to determine this TL. Now since this is TL, what about this angle now? So this angle has to be with reference to HP, that is theta. Okay, now do the same procedure starting from the front view. Okay, what is that? It's given, it is given that length of the front view is 50 mm. Okay, already we know A dash is here now. So upon this particular x y line itself, I will mark this 50. So let me mark this 50. Let us say some area we will get. So this is LFP. This is A dash. So let me call by some other name now. Let us say it is B2 dash. Now what is the procedure I said earlier? Same. What is the procedure now? Now, the line is parallel to XY line in the front view. So, we know that in the top view, I will get the true length. Because if I say line is parallel to XY line in the front view, means 
this is parallel to HP. Since it is parallel to HP, in the front view, I see the true net. So then what is the procedure I did there? Same procedure. So what is the procedure I did? So I am going to just draw a projector through this. Then anyway, I know the true length line. That is 75 mm. So I will just take this line. And with A as center, I am going to cut it. So maybe somewhere here I will get. So that this will be B2. That means say that I am going to get the locus also now. So let me get this locus now. So this I will consider it as locus of B. And say this is TL. What about this angle with reference to VP? That is fine. So as you can see, we are able to determine with these two steps the true length is given, true inclinations. But I need to draw the projections. So what do I find projections? I need to draw the final A dash, B dash and final AB. Now as I told you earlier also, I know these four parameters, I know these two parameters. Then what I should do then? Now I know that your LFV and LTV should be arranged between the respective low size such that finally they should be in projection with each other. Okay, now let us say I will start with front view. Either you can start from top or front view. Okay, let us say I will start from front view. Then what I do then? I know that LFV should be between A dash and B dash. Then what I do then? With A dash as center, radius is equal to LFV. That is A dash B to dash dry an arc. Okay, so always show this direction. So that this will be what then? This is my final point P. So what is the final point I told you always? I will write simply this as B dash. And if I join like this, this is the final front view. Okay, what about the final top view? We know that A, A dash, same projector. B dash B, same projector. So what to do then? I will draw the projector through this. Draw a projector through this. So that this point will be what then? B. And if I join E, B, this is the final top view. Now if I have done the problem right there, what should have happen? I know that this particular length should be equal to LTV or if I would have drawn the arc through this, it should come here. And finally, you can see these angles now. So what about this angle now? It is alpha greater than theta and this angle is theta greater than 5. Understood? Thank you.